All right, working on the old Ford again. I think what I'm going to do today is try to work on the bed here so I can put it back on. And uh, somebody had welded a big eye beam across the bottom here. I'm not going to take that out because they probably put that for structure for some reason. Maybe the, the cross beam was rotted out a little bit, but I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to cut the, the edge off, make it flush, clean it up, make it look a little better. I'm not going to get too crazy with it because you're never going to see it. And uh, up here, maybe cut these off. You know, somebody put them there just to, uh, I guess, keep the top of the bed from rattling or moving, but whatever. I'll take that off and then uh, put a nice piece there, have a little dirt bike, weld a nice piece in. Fill in the, the holes here. And then uh, maybe clean this up so you can weld that. Fix that tab. Oh, well. uh, I digress. So, like I said, I'm going to fix that and fix that down here. And then uh, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to take this uh, square plate out, whatever this is. I wouldn't call it a diamond plate, but it's uh, it's at least three sixteenths, and it's heavier than what should be in there. And if it wasn't all bellied and warped, I might leave it in there and, and cover it, but there's a big belly in the middle here, and that's it's gonna hamper me, so I might as well just take it all out. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. I might put the, the original corrugated bed in there, or I might uh, get some wood. A friend of mine has a, a bunch of oak laying around, and uh, we might make a, a wooden floor out of it, we'll see. But anyway. I think to start, I'm going to just try and cut this weld here. I might do it in sections because I don't, I don't need that big piece out. I'll, uh, I'll cut this weld, try and cut along here, and then just maybe cut a section out here. That way at least I can see what's going on, and then I'll continue on. All right, let me, uh, let me get my stuff out here and start doing something. All right. Yeah, I guess I've been working on this for about an hour or so. It's a little tougher than I thought. And uh, I thought I thought my uh, I got a, a Bosch saw blade here, and that usually cuts pretty good. And I thought all I have to do is make a little cut, and then uh, the Bosch would take care of it. But uh, not the case. The cutoff wheel seems to be the trick. And it's funny I got I got these uh, expensive German ones here, I'm supposed to cut or supposed to last 30% longer. And uh, not the case. Turns out, plus I had my uh, my Lennox diamond blade here, and that must be worn out because that, that ain't doing nothing. But believe it or not, and I even had this sat, say it, say it, say it, I don't know. But anyway, that's supposed to be a good one too. That worked well. But actually, the best one so far is the Harbor Freight, believe it or not. And, uh, I mean, they're, they're wearing down fast. I'm going through them, you know. I'm able to get them down to that small. So I'm using a good portion of them. But, uh, yeah, a lot, a lot to be said for that. You know, some guys, I've read that they're, they're not that good, but, I mean, they seem to be doing a job. I, I'm cutting the weld off on the back here. And then along the side here, I'm just doing a, a, a cut, a straight cut through the material instead of trying to, Eat at the the weld it seems to be working better for me. So I got I got all the way up there. What I want to do is go up to about this. This is where there's a cross beam, and then make a diagonal cut right across the truck. But a little dust I'm creating here. Now I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna make a cut down here, and that shouldn't be too tough. So let me see how that works.
Yeah, that wasn't bad at all. My screwdrivers. Pride block. So we gotta cut away from the down to here. Now, I just have to mess with this. I'm gonna have to go in from the side. I don't know what here. Alright, the cutting wheel's working good. And none of you see it, but uh, I got all got all the way up to there. What well, scared the snot out of me there. It was a uh, weld breaking loose. But uh, right here's the cross beam and I want to go on the other side of the cross beam. And right now the saw horse I think is sitting on the part that I'm cutting out so uh, I'm gonna have to move that or else uh, we'll have a blooper video here. But uh, I found something interesting here. I only have about one metal blade left but I have about it's like six or seven masonry blades. So I figure here, what the heck, right? I put one in there and I tried it, and it actually works better than a metal blade. I think it might be wearing down faster, but it but it actually cuts better and faster. So uh, I'll be okay. I'll use masonry blades. Probably I probably only need one to cut that across all the way. But uh, I found that interesting. They're both 40 grit, and this is aluminum oxide, the metal one. And the masonry one is silicon carbide. So I uh, thought that was interesting. I right, let me figure out a way to move that horse under there. I guess I'll have to get a jack out or something. And then uh, I'll cut that out. And I'll have, I'll have the third of the whole thing done. So I'm right. Yeah, I mean, there's not much to, to what we're doing today other than just cutting this bed out. So I don't know, what I, I don't know how I can do to make it interesting, but we'll try. All right. It's sitting on a little bit of an angle, but uh, I was able to move it without getting anybody hurt. So uh, you can see how you can compare it to the fence. That's how much it's leaning now, but uh, it's pretty stable. And I have a mark here where I have to cut up here. I want to cut right along that line. And then I'll be able to get that whole piece out. And then you see this, uh, this yellow thing is the, the stand. And I have that sitting on the, the bed. Once I get this out of the way, I can move it back and set it up on the frame and bring it back up and everything will be a little safer anyway. Actually, I should probably put one of the saw horses back here. This one's up front. That would stabilize it, but uh, we'll see. Let's cut that and see what we got. done this uh, I'm, I underestimated it I, I used about four four discs to get across but they were masonry I'm, I think the metal lasts a little longer I have I'm cut right up to here and I got it here so I got, got about eight inches and then uh, this pop this piece should pop up I know a lot of guys are gonna say you should have a shield on there you know the shield has to be put on there by the company and uh, most body men don't use shields because they create the uh, injuries and stuff you know if you don't feel comfortable using one of these without a shield then don't but uh, most body men don't use them you know they just get in the way and uh, create create accidents because you can't see exactly what you're doing all right let me uh, tighten that blade up and then we'll uh, do a little cutting Thank you. 
again, dude. I'm going to grab my blade. Man, oh man. This is a lot heavier than I thought it was. Right, let, me, let me get all the stuff out of here and try and lift that out. All right. Yeah, that piece is heavy, but they also have it tacked in one spot there. So I was, I was actually lifting the whole truck up. So let me let me unhook that uh, one tack there and see what we can do. I'm gonna try and do it without crawling under there. All right. Yeah, I had two tacks, one in the back, and one in the front. The one in the front I can get with the grinder, but the one in the back, the, the saw horse was in the way, so I had to get that with a hacksaw. But work. But uh, this piece here I actually feels like it's about. Uh, 75 pounds or 100 pounds. Hmm. Yeah, now I can give this some attention. Yeah, I'm glad I took that off. Alright. Yeah, I don't know how long this is or how boring it is, but... Uh, we'll take a look and uh, maybe we'll add to it, maybe we won't. Maybe we'll see you, maybe we won't. All right.